Well, folks, you're not ready for this one. We have a bombshell report and we have an update to the story. And this confirms all the conspiracies that we had for a minute now. Like this video if you think there are two genders. Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders. And as we get down to the video here, guys, I want to say, yes, we have been beefing. People have been beefing for a minute now. And there's a reason why we have been beefing. Because they keep on doing this. This is real. This is as real. This is as real as those UFOs flying over top of your forehead right now. Because, yeah, like, this is what they did to Lara Croft. This is exactly what they did to Lara Croft. And there's a reason. And we now have that uh, reason confirmed that you're about to find out roll it so today we got some pretty crazy controversies involving the ongoing gamergate situation and of course just like any other story involving that it all comes back to sweet baby inc the woke consulting firm that is killing studio after studio for their own profit Yay. now over the years a lot of people have made observations about the designs of characters especially when you compare male characters versus female characters yeah. For years, we see lots of male characters based on real life men that either look very representative of these men, or even in some cases, even more attractive in their video game form. But when you look at the female characters, they're Let the opposite. Most of the time, they are a complete downgrade compared to the appearance of the real life female that they are yeah. based on. And a Insanity. lot of people looked at that and said, this is happening too many times to not be intentional. Like someone yep. is doing this on purpose. They are doing this to these female characters for some sort of a reason. And for years. And, and, and they say gamers are misogynist. They say men in general are a toxic uh, masculinity, right? Like men are toxic, men are misogynist. We just want a female to be a female. Is If that's misogynist, then okay, label us that. But bro, what, what are we doing here? We just want a good female character. That's it. We believe that. Yeah, we, we, we believe that females are beautiful. We absolutely do believe that. Wh what the hell is going on, bro? Nobody had a problem with Lara Croft. Nobody had a problem with Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is one of the, the most fan favorite franchise of both uh, genders, right? Like uh, female and male, okay? Like for both genders, this has been an amazing franchise. And now they do this? You serious right now? Of course there's a reason for it. Of course there's a reason for it. And and you can see like all the, the, the men characters are perfectly fine, right? I guess they are literally saying we men the best. Yeah, we men the best, but we also believe that females are the best too in different aspects of life, right? Men are good in one aspect and females are good in another aspect. We, we both the best. Developers, journalists, and other members of the gaming industry have told those players that you're crazy, that these are hallucinations, that these are wild conspiracy theories by misogynistic chuds and all these things. And well, as it turns out, those gamers and their observations we're spot on. So let's go to Del Walker here. Del yeah. Walker uh -oh. is a principal yeah, gamer. Yeah, 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 He's worked yeah, 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 yeah. with Naughty Dog and Rocksteady. And he is someone who has been running defense for... I have covered this uh, in a video previously very extensively. But wait for the update. I swear to God, wait for the update. There is an update to the story that you're about to find out. Wait for it. Companies like Sweet Baby Inc. For a very long time. And his company, when he was at Rocksteady, worked on the Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League game. And of Crazy. course, Rocksteady is a client for Sweet Baby Inc. And that collaboration was a disaster, costing Warner Bros. over $200 million. Now, Dell had this to say in a recent tweet, quoting this picture right here, saying, There's been a handful of times I've pitched a black woman character that looks like this. Then after 10 iterations, yeah. the concept or model Dang. comes out- Damn, like, she waifu right there, right? But of course, like, they saw that, oh man, how dare she look all that good? How dare she look that good? Uh, we are not gonna do that. We need to strong and independentify her, and that's what they did right after, which you're about to find out. Bruh. Get ready for this one, man. I'm sorry. Warning, guys, it's not gonna be good. Without a speck of the original beauty I pitched, and he would provide another quote demonstrating more details on yeah. this saying, <laughs> I'm not talking about mild changes, I'm talking about pose, aura, style, softness, age, flair. I hate giving Gamergate men fuel, but it's very difficult to pitch beautiful or vain black women in games without them coming back. I hate giving Gamergate men fuel, but they are 100% right on this one. Tell, tell me when I'm telling lies. Tell me when gamers are telling lies. People are tired of the franchise is being destroyed, right? This has happened in a lot of movies, TV shows. It's still happening, but we're now low-key seeing Hollywood come back. Just a little bit, just a little bit, because they realize that this is only destroying and we're not making enough money, man. We're not making money. We're losing money left and right. So we gotta give the, uh, the audience what they want. They are slowly but surely 
coming back on track and trying to make good stories without the woke politics, without these gender identities and all that BS that's going on, right? But video games, you see, it's different. Right now, it's like the infancy stage. It's like, it's beginning, right? And a lot of these games are already in development and with video games, it takes years uh, for them to come out. So they have begun the process of wokeifying the games, uh, thinking that that's what gamers want. Right, so I, I feel like that it's gonna get worse before it gets better. I, I heard this, I believe, from Yellow Flesh, uh, this argument, and this actually is very, it's a very good argument that, because games takes years to develop, so for the couple of years, it's gonna get worse. And then they're actually gonna learn <laughs> that <laughs> this is not how to do it, and we're probably gonna go back to normal, but it's gonna take some time, and, and that is if we keep voicing our opinions we keep telling them this is not what we want and yeah we don't want that crap like bro what what the actual hell she looks beautiful bro like the actual actress right and, and this is what they did to the the actress in the game that's just I insanity bro that's insanity i heard that in america you can uh, sue people for farting in the wrong direction but okay i guess you cannot sue for that right I i'm assuming i don't know man I don't like know. grocery store aunties there is room for both. Oh, I hate to give the Gamergate men fuel, but yes, they were right all along. These consultants <laughs> and studios yeah. are making it almost impossible to make characters yeah, attractive. Too, in this case, female characters and specifically black female characters, but it's pretty uh, easy to Crazy. guess that this probably goes... That That's racist, bro. That is racism right there. Uh, yeah, they, they're like, hey, no, bro. You, you, the, the fact that you are against Yasuke... No, it's not even about being against Yasuke. People just wanted... A, a Japanese protagonist in a game that's set in feudal Japan, right? Exactly. And a lot of people are also saying, bro, okay, so you can also add Yasuke in it too. You know, as a DLC or perhaps uh, alongside a Japanese male protagonist as well. And yeah, tell the story without the woke stuff in it. Uh, but nah, man, they're pandering. They're also stereotyping uh, the, the black homies. So first of all, they disrespected the Japanese culture by adding Yasuke in the game. And he is a tank of a man. <laughs> and he's destroying all the little Asians. Hashtag stop the Asian hit. Yeah, I mean, if they're gonna play that card, we can also play this card as well, right? And then, the only black person that they have put in the game, they make him gay as well. Disrespecting the black culture, stereotyping the black homies as well. Absolute insanity. What are we doing here? And we're talking about Ubisoft, so Sweet Baby Inc. is involved. Go, go figure, go figure, go figure. There's a reason for it. Across the board when it's coming to female characters. So, all these years, people saying that there's something going on here, well, they were correct. This is exactly what these studios are doing. Wait and it, for it just begs the question, who is benefiting from this cycle? Who is benefiting from making these female characters uglier? What is the point? Because certainly gamers don't want it. Certainly the studios don't want it because they're losing money as a result. Yep, and it seems right. like even some of the artists and other people working on these games don't like it either. So yep. who is winning? Especially this guy that, that thinks that the gamer get people are wrong and that's his opinion though You know, that's one thing that we gotta guys like listen everybody has the right to their opinion We, we don't want to be that uh, you can disagree. Oh, absolutely Refusing to participate in their delusion. That's not harassment Everybody has the right to disagree and agree and you can have your opinion Yeah, you can have your opinion and we can have a civil discussion here, right? But, uh, and this person has the right to have his opinion and he thinks that the gamer get people are bad uh, He didn't say that but that's how uh, that's what it sounds like but he didn't say that I want to be like very very blunt here uh, But he says that hey, I don't want to give fuel to the gamer get crowd which tells me that he doesn't necessarily agree But right now even he sees the point of the gamer get people which is that I guess uh, we're getting labeled with gamer get people right that uh, simply put like we're just saying hey do not ruin the the video game characters they they're ruining it and they're calling us toxic we're just simply saying bro what you did was actually good you did it we love you for that we appreciate it this was a good game you know the character is beautiful you know good job and then later on when they change it people say bro nah bro we don't want it bro what the hell what the hell what why why change it Por qué? why you change it man <laughs> why you change it like that uh, people criticizing it rightfully so because the original design nothing wrong with it looks beautiful uh, she's uh, actually very very good uh, in the first design right they change her to the uh, and uglify her right there's a reason of course but generally speaking they do it people talk about it and if you talk about it you say you don't want this on the right 
then of course you're part of uh, the Gamergate crowd. You're toxic, you're problematic, you're a menace to society. You're a menace. Remember that, folks. You're a menace to society. If you <laughs> if you prefer the chick on the left, you're a menace to society, bro. Well, it's like a handful of pretentious assholes in California who want to control the narrative and control what these characters look like because they want to spike gamers, because that's what it's all about. It's not about making these studios money, it's about making their own money and also exerting their will onto people, no matter what the cost is to the product that they're helping work on. And it's yeah. absolutely ridiculous. Now, of course, their Lord conversations Christ. probably end here with Del Walker, but he has served as a very useful uh, insight. Yeah, okay, so this is you that got blocked? Damn, bro, that's crazy. That is crazy. But okay, everybody has the right to uh, block each other. Yeah, fine, that's fine. But damn, man, did you really hurt him that bad? into what's going on here and he's really the first person to openly confirm that these things have been happening behind the scenes shout out to now him. let's move over to another uh -oh. potential disaster here uh -oh. you can read the headline here marvel's wolverine video game in trouble has sweet baby ink on board yes this is a real shot right here this is the real character design of jean gray this is it that was not photoshop nothing this is it she looks like a phantom being summoned from the shadows like it's eerie looking i mean this jean gray that's what she ends one up sec, looking one like. One sec, I gotta show you, man. You know I, yeah, this is like a perfect, mwah, perfect opportunity, man. Same energy. <laughs> Same energy. But of course, like, you know, this was made by Twitter Mafia. <laughs> Twitter Mafia. <laughs> This was made by the Twitter homies, so the Twitter homies has definitely exaggerated a little too good. And I gotta say, it is pretty nice. It is pretty nice, right? Uh, but same energy, same energy proves the point. Proves the point why these suckers hated Stellar Blade character. This is the original design, and they ruined her. They ruined her too. And, and go figure. I covered this in the last episode as well. I'm not sure if that episode is gonna go live before this because Dr. Disrespect situation happened so uh, because of that I'm delaying uh, this topic a little bit but yeah check this so they say and this is coming from Insomniac's, Insomniac's narrative director who discusses lack of LGTV content in video games lack of it guys lack of it this is all what we're saying you are uh, this is all what we're seeing you're using all characters and you're ruining them you're changing the already good characters you're changing the already made characters to this and you're saying there's lack i guess there really is lack of representation that you had to go back and change the perfectly fine characters to this one yeah i, I guess it is so this is what insomniac narrative director is saying guys in narrative director this is not one dev saying this is the, the the guy or the girl in power i'm not sure if it's a female or a male i don't know man so yeah uh, crazy times we're living in and insomnia games uh i'll be objective with it insomnia games is actually very very good in making their games oh absolutely but they're going downhill i guess so, if, 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 there's a reason why they changed the the mary jane character in spider-man 2 as well and they made her super ugly in the first one she was all right she was all right i mean she was uh, looking like a good chick wasn't even anything she wasn't anything like the stellar blade uh a character to which they uh, to which uh, they criticized very heavily they e -e -e -e, how dare she's showing the boobas and all that they criticized her very very much and i have to say the the original mary jane character in spider-man 1 she was all right. She, she was all right. I, I don't know why they're male gays. Is that why you're doing male gays? Oh, we, we don't want men seeing that. What the hell we're talking about, man? What the hell we're doing here, bruh? She was perfectly fine in the first one, but now they have uglified it, uglified her 10 times over. And, and now they're getting ready to do the same for Wolverine as well. Like, I know there's been many different iterations of this character throughout the animated series and the live action movies, but overall, like, are you kidding me? Oh Brother, she God, looks like bro. Gollum. Okay, this is absolutely oh inexcusable. My God, like, bro. what? And Insomnia, guys, listen, man. This is not a Sony Pony thing. Or this is not an Xbox Andy thing. I have a PlayStation. I don't have Xbox. But, guys, facts are facts, right? Insomnia Games is one of the best out there in terms of the graphics. In terms of the graphics, okay? You're telling me that they can... <laughs> You're telling me that... They cannot make a good looking game in 1080. I'm not even gonna go in the direction of 4K, even though they make games uh, uh, and they have textures for 4K, and they're gonna have this game in 4K as well. This is looking 360p bad. Okay, this is looking 360p bad. Look at the man jawline right there. Holy crap, man. Whoa. Yeah. Del Walker was saying earlier in this video, like, 
Here it is in action. They are uglifying these female characters. It's very obvious. And also when you're basing it off of real people in other cases, like it's just offensive. It's an offensive thing to do. And this is what we're left with. This. Well, it probably doesn't surprise you when you start looking around uh -oh. at what's going on with this Wolverine game. It is made by Insomniac Games. Take a look right here at the profile, two second look. You might have some uh, ideas of what's going on here. And remember, they worked on Spider-Man 2, which is of course a Sweet Baby Inc. project that is publicly announced as my screen goes white for some reason. And yeah. if you look through their tweets before they went private, some people captured the screenshot from 2021 where they announced that they're very excited to work on Spider-Man 2 and Wolverine, which is very interesting, but not very surprising, especially when you start looking at some of the employees who are working on this game, including Mary Kay. Right. This is someone we've talked right. about before. She is the narrative director for Wolverine, and her no, bio here, pay attention to it because it's going to change, as we'll see in a couple of minutes uh -huh. here, but she is someone who has openly defended Sweet Baby Inc. You can see that she reposted this article that was defending Sweet Baby Inc. when the controversy involving them began a few months ago. They, of course, in this article, completely ignore the context as to why people were criticizing Sweet Baby Inc. as the result of its own employee starting mm. a harassment campaign against the Sweet Baby Inc. detected Steam group. And also you would see her supporting tweets like this. This individual down here saying you can't be racist to white idiots like yourself and you can't be racist to white non-idiots either. You can't be racist to whites, period. Now back when this person made this tweet back in March, you could still see who was liking tweets. You could check out in the uh, post engagements. And of course, when you looked at that back then, oh, there she is, Mary Kenny. So she is supporting <laughs> other people like Alyssa Mercante, all these other game journals and people from the industry who claim you can't be racist against white people. As a brown man, bro, I demand my representation, bro. Bruh. Uh, by the way, I'm South Asian, I'm Pakistani, deadass, I'm ethnically brown, okay? Some people, some of you don't believe it. Some of you are like, nah, man, I'm not gonna let you get all the representation. I don't want you getting... Come on, guys, I need my representation too, man. Can a brown man, can, can a brown man get its representation? Everybody's getting their representation, man. Why not me, bro? I demand my representation. Where my representation at? Where my brown homies at, though? Brown homies, bro. Oh. Uh, obviously, I'm uh, obviously I'm joking. I don't need that representation, bro. Like, what the hell are you doing here, bro? Oh, and of course, she would retweet this as well, sharing uh, the dictionary definition of racism that this person falsely believes excludes white people. It was all very embarrassing for this guy, but Mary Kenny reposted that as well. And she's also said this. Some of you don't seem to understand how narrative consulting on games works, but don't worry, I do. Yeah, this is about sweet baby, because I've worked with that team, and they're one of the finest in the biz. 12 part mm -hmm. thread. Uh, I ain't reading that. I've read enough. They are finest. They are standing. They are brave. And most importantly, we went together to get a BBL as well. <laughs> I know this is already really stupid, and trying to defend Sweet Baby is a giant mistake, not only for yourself, but, but, we don't want to have our video game characters, the female characters, having BBL though. Bruh. Yeah, I mean, they don't want their female characters in the game having BBLs, bruh. <laughs> They but also for the companies that. you're working on because right now they are a PR nightmare. Nobody wants to support anything that has anything to do with Sweet Baby. And it seems like yeah. the results are finally being shown with the Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League flop that people now can point to and say, hey, working with your consulting firm is a really bad idea as a studio. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, money talks. And if they're losing hundreds of millions of dollars in their collaborations yeah. with these projects, people are going to look the other way and not hire people like Sweet Baby Inc. anymore. We saw it with- uh, And Insomniac is different, right? Now, absolutely, I agree with that. And people have made this point that the reason Spider-Man 2 sold a lot is because of Spider-Man. And make no mistake, that's the main reason. It's Spider-Man. And generally speaking, the game is good, okay? I didn't buy it because at that time I was traveling and I didn't have my PlayStation. And therefore, you know what? I had a few weeks. Uh, I was in my country, right? Like visiting my family and just chilling out uh, and all that. So I, uh, yeah. It, so I, I basically went on YouTube and I just watched the entire walkthrough and I was like, okay, I'm gonna just watch it. Uh, I, I got a couple, a couple of weeks till I get the chance to play. I don't think uh, I, I wanna wait that long. Just let me just go ahead and watch it, right? Let, let, let's go ahead and watch it. I watched part one. I watched part two. I watched the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the entire thing and after that I'm like, oh shit, I saved my, my, myself some money, okay? Uh, and, and the only thing at that time that I didn't like was uh, the, 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 the stuff that we were seeing with Mary Jane. But I remember, if I remember correctly, Sweet Baby Ink situation uh, is something that we didn't know back then. Yeah, we didn't know back then. And later on when it came out and, and this drama blew up and everybody started going on and, and exposing everything. And now we have like, now everybody knows what's going on, right? So this situation has blown up, and I'm glad that we're learning. But with Spider-Man, if Spider-Man 2 came out 
after the sweet baby like right now let's just say this year of course like they would have seen a little dip in the sales not too much though like i'll be honest here i don't think it would be too bad because we're talking spider-man spider-man is big it's big it's humongous right so i don't think it would be too bad and most importantly the game in general was actually very good like low less bugs it's just that the ending with the story what they did with mary jane the character and also uh what they did no other reason other than the woke stuff that the pen ring like they wanted to make uh her a uh, girl boss right holy crap we're talking about a spider spider-man here we're talking about a superhero game basically what these seconds did was that if mary jane wasn't around peter parker would have died holy crap like what are we doing in in another scenario in a different game that was that would not be based off of a superhero totally makes sense that your partner saves the day for you after you have done the heavy lifting your partner saves you you save your partner beautiful it's beautiful makes sense but we're talking about a superhero game we're talking about spider-man for crying out loud right you're telling me that peter parker spider-man would have died had it been had it been that mary jane was not around what are we doing here and of course the only reason if there was a legitimate reason for them to do it okay but the entire reason was this right they, they did it purposely and, and all that wukong which was a great choice on the behalf of that developer team saying no to sweet baby that was the best decision they could have done both for their own financials and their pr because people love to see that they love to see people saying no to woke bullies like sweet baby inc mm. now we look at the wolverine game okay obviously people like mary yeah, penny uh -oh. on the team there which is very concerning especially when the series is featuring a white man and this person clearly has issues with white people it, it, it really aligns for a very difficult situation. Now, you would think if you're on the team for Wolverine here, especially one of the lead writers and narrative directors. Yeah, I mean, they're probably going to make uh, Wolverine gay as well. Bro. Like, yeah, probably. He, he's not, right? They can make their own character to be like LGTV. Okay, that's fine. That's different, right? But in this case i guess they're gonna change uh wolverine as well yeah i mean this is what happens right we, we saw with yasuke as well right <laughs> they changed the only black man they, they that they put in a feudal japan setting game of assassin's creed shadows the only black man turns out to be gay and also the other female character as well we're talking feudal japan holy crap and wolverine one of the straightest men alive or i mean fiction fictional character right one of the straightest Bruh. men one of the straightest men watch magically becomes gay in the next game you would be proud of being a part of this well as you might notice here this is the updated bio of mary kenny here and she has removed any mention of wolverine from her bio and any mention of sweet baby she's gone private a couple times definitely a lot of things happening here you might have also noticed she removed pronouns from her bio so either this is some progress or this is just uh they're trying to cover their tracks and their connection guys 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 check out this video on the screen because recently we had a massive bombshell report that came out about dr disrespect some of you most of you already know what happened but there's an update to the story check it out if you don't know what's going on then check it out you're gonna be up to date if you've already seen it then check out the video on the left